Hello everybody, welcome back. It is a beautiful day, the birds are singing, I can hear it, but I am way too excited today to be able to do my usual because an abandoned chateau which I really, really, really wanted a few years ago, they wouldn't sell, I've been told there is a potential change in that. It might well be coming on the market. So I'm gonna go and have a look. France is full of beautiful, amazing chateaus which need saving. But as many as there are, I'm interested in one in particular. In my search, I looked at lots in varying states of repair, from brilliant to completely ruined, but there was always one that stood out. And no, not this one, this one. There it is, you can just see it. So, we did have a question and I was driving past it. So, a long time ago, I said about our story, how we got here, about a place which was completely ruined that we really wanted and they wouldn't sell it to us. I was going past it, so it would be a bit rude not to show you it. That building there, that is the original chapel, and there's a story with that. As you can see, there's the wing behind it with no roof, that's falling down, hardly any windows in any of that. Of course it's all a tin roof. It's. Uh, an interesting place. Completely abandoned, this place is not. One sibling of the three which own it now uh, is trying to save it, but on no money. I mean, nature is literally reclaiming it faster than they're managing to do any work and that's not even taken into consideration the, the actual building itself, which is probably beyond repair at this point, actually, to be fair. I mean, that wing will really should be saved, but can't. There's no floors in it. You can see there's hardly any windows in it. Nearly everything was burnt inside uh, to stay warm because it was a disabled hospital in World War II. The grounds aren't looking great. All of the outbuildings are falling apart. There's just one wing with an actual roof there, which is what she lives in. I uh, don't know what that's like inside. Hopefully it's better than the rest of it. And even that's having some windows pulled out and sheeted over at the top. So I understand because it's still the same family that had it built, the attachment that goes with it. And I really, really hope that somehow she finds some funding or does it or lets go of the attachment and lets somebody that has the money to do it but it's a real shame just watching it deteriorate. Looking at the old pictures, you can really see just how far this place has deteriorated. In World War II, it was used as a disabled hospital and everything inside that was wooden was burnt 
to keep warm for the winter. So when it was given back to the family after the war, there wasn't really much left of it. It's actually said that it all started back when they put a generator into the chapel, which you can see there with the flat roof, to get electric for those mains electric to the chateau. Apparently that caught fire, that took out the, the roof of the chapel and everything in it. Years later, obviously, um, many things happened, but then there was obviously the war and everything getting burnt inside it um, to stay warm. They had a restaurant there uh, in one of the outbuildings, which was apparently very successful, that um, the roof of the restaurant came off in a storm, insurance wouldn't pay out, so that was closed. They actually had a nightclub in the basement at one point, and then that had to close because the sound uh, was making the structure dangerous. So it's really had absolutely no luck ever since they put the generator into the chapel. So make uh, of that what you will. But it really, really is, well, it's probably beyond saving already, but there's something about it. And that makes me think about it, that now it's been said that maybe it will come up again. I've got to seriously think about it, but I need to take a little wonder because I need to put into perspective not only the amount of work, but whether I would, you know, I already live in a beautiful place. Do I want to change? You are gonna behave off the lead. Should go for a walk, come on. <laughs> Nothing like having a little wander down your own driveway, taking in the sights, the sounds, the birds, fresh air, to help you think clearly. I guess it really comes down to the fact that I already live in a beautiful place, which needs a huge amount of work, but I've already put lots of work into it. Is it a good idea to go and grab a project on such a huge scale? Because I've always been interested in that particular chateau and I've always wanted to do something that was completely ruined from scratch. You're not undoing other people's decoration work. But then look where I live. Look at the work I've done. Look at the work that's still ahead. Is it a good idea to start a huge new project? Is it actually just me getting hung up on something I always wanted and I can't see what's right in front of me? Because I know how beautiful this place is and I know how wonderful it is to live here. And no matter what season it is, why don't you help me? Leave your suggestions in the comment. What would you do? Would you stay here or would you go?